Okay, so in the first clip, I just went through the question. Now the second section you will see, I'm just going to go quickly through the um, the drawing. So here's our new hospital that we um, need to construct. So you would see that we've got a total floor area of 45 times 10. And um, I had the question on whether you can use the um, a single story building uh, compare it comparing it to a double story uh, yes in this instance um, that was all that you had if you do have a double story um, building it's always good to compare the cost um, between your um, your ground floor and uh, first floor uh, if you do have that type of information but with this question you didn't have that luxury so um, it all that you had to do was basically use your um, the cost that you would calculate from figure three and times that with the volume of your figure one so um, just keep that in mind also you would see that we had some new external paving that was added um, I didn't add any uh, external works like um, pipe work and a uh, ground works and so on just to keep it simple otherwise it just becomes too much um, to calculate but um, you will see as I go through the calculations with regard to that obviously if I do include some other items um, you need to take that into account so but usually in a test that's too much information to to try and um, have in one specific question so that's that was uh, excluded so the only thing that you had to do was to calculate your volume cost and then add your paving um, area as well so that you can actually have get to your basic cost where, to which you can add your P's and G's um, and then your uh, contingencies and that. Okay, so that was um, that. Then drawing um, two or figure two, your historical office building. The only purpose of this uh, building was to um, calculate your paving area so um, you didn't have to calculate the volume of this and you would see there was a couple of catches here anyway with um, uh, the um, the wall plate height the ceiling height and so on which all differed which um, I think many of you guys um, took cognizance of um, just be aware of that um, that might be a, a thing um, in other questions uh, to actually use the correct um, height so just remember that the if you use your cube method it's from the top of your um, strip footing up to the middle of your roof um, um, area so it's always good to to draw it out from the gable end just to to see that you've calculated your your height correctly so um, and just make sure that you've got that Okay, so um, have a look at that so that you do you understand how that's calculated. I'll maybe make a, another video on that just to clarify that, but that's irrelevant for for this question. Okay, so that's basically it. So just going through the memo. So if you do go through the memo, this is all the information provided, and then you would see the um, I've added the memo and the calculations here. So this was basically all that you had to do is you had to calculate your historical values you can see the paving is added here and the building um, volume here so that you can actually calculate your basic rates so that you can apply to your new building um, right here at the bottom okay and then you would see that i've um, i've added two answers the one actually has your um, historical uh, rate excluding um, your p's and g's and then we've got a second answer which most um, students used was basically just using your basic historical value um, here to um, to calculate um, your rate per volume okay so in the next clip that I'm going to show I'm going to um, use uh, the 1.3 million because it's just easier um, to calculate but you can have a look at this the um, at the 
the 1.1 million that I calculated here, how that was um, exp um, done. I'm, I'm going to explain that in the next clip um, and also in the next video with the next um, method of calculation, your, uh, calculating your, um, your new building estimates. Okay, so uh, just be aware of that. And also then I just added one or two basic feedback items here at the bottom so that you can just see um, one of the common things that um, that was asked um, so in a nutshell that's basically how the memo works so you can have a look at the memo uh, and if there's any other questions you're more than free to um, contact me um, if you need any assistance with that